Today I will present you the spelling function. Spelling function is in the publish menu. It's on the top left part. And you see when I move the cursor on it, it describes me the function and it also tells me that I can access this function with the F7 hotkey on the keyboard. So the spelling function is a function which will help you to correct spelling mistakes that might occur on chart. Before you can start to run the spelling function, you must first configure it. So to configure it, you have to go here on the extreme top left part on Customize Quick Access to Bar. You click here. And then on the Option part, you've got Spelling. So Spelling. This allows you to define whether you want to check only entities, only links, or both entities and links. And you can also select what is the coverage of this function. The so coverage means in which fields the spelling must be checked. And also you can configure the preferences, telling whether, for example, you want to ignore capitalized words, for example, Canada, ignore all caps words, where you have everything in capital. Um, you can ignore words with numbers inside, ignore words with mixed cases, Patent tracer, ignore domain names, for example, abiable.com, ignore HTML markup text. You can report double words, for example, the, the case sensitive checking, suggest similar sounding words, suggest similarly spelt words, and suggest split words. You can check or uncheck the fact that the spelling must be checked as you type. By default, it's checked. And the most important is you must define the dictionary language. Here, I've got French, and as I will type in English, I will change it. So I must change and go to English. You can choose between United Kingdom and US English. So I will choose UK English and then click OK. So now I created one entity and I will type in some label and I will enter some text in the description field. So you can see that as I type, the words with an error are underlined with some red underline. This is because I checked that the check spelling must occur as I type. So I will click in OK. And now I can launch the spelling function by clicking it. So it's giving me for each entity where it found some spelling errors. It gives me the word. It proposed me or it suggests me a correction. And you have a list of suggestions with words which are more or less close to the word which is not found in, on the dictionary. And it describes where it has been found. So it has been found in the item description field. And it gives you the context. The context is the sentence where the word was found. And you have different options. You have ignore. So if you ignore, it will just ignore this word. But if, it, if the same words happen again on the same entity, it will show it again as an error. You have ignore all. This will ignore all, will ignore every time this word occurs on a spell checking. You can go and change. So change will replace this word by this word. And change only replaces once and change all will, will replace it everywhere. You can click on add. So add will allow you to say that this word is a correct word and it's a word which is not currently in the dictionary and it will add this word to the dictionary. What you must be aware is that the change will only be validated 
once an Excel book is restarted, which means that if for this word I click on add, it will not consider this word as an error after I restarted an Excel book. And close means I want to close the spelling thing. You can also click on the help button to display the online help of an Excel book where you can see some information setting and you have some information on, on the parameters. So this I want to correct because it's today and not today with an E. So I go change, will, so I must check a will, it's this one, will, change, and so on. Market, market, change, okay, spell, spelling check. The chart is complete. So this is a presentation of the spelling function in Anisobook. I hope it was informative to you. Thank you.